today for this mermaid theme tutorial. I was really inspired to do this because obviously I'm gonna say it one more time. I feel like I've said it in all my videos. My hair is blue now. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. It's kind of a washout color. So I was very inspired to kind of do a very like turquoise, tur oh, is it? <laughs> turquoise and bright kind of style makeup to kind of go along with the green and blue that's in my hair right now. So this is what I came up with. This is the final product. I feel like it does look very mermaidy for sure. Um, so that's kind of what I'm calling it. I did a mermaid theme tutorial on my channel. It's like one of the first videos I ever posted. So I kind of liked that I was like doing a remake of it almost a little bit. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Without much further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into the video. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna be taking my Yes to Cucumbers Daily Moisturizer. I'm just putting that on. I really haven't used primers in a long time, so this has kind of just been my go-to. Get down on that neck and that chest. All right, so because this is a very glowy look, I don't have, I'm like very dark right now and I don't have a ton of foundations that match me at the moment. So I'm actually going to just be taking my e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation because this is like the darkest shade of foundation I have. I need to go buy some new ones for the summer. And then I'm going to just mix in a drop of the sunbeam to get it nice and glowy and make sure that we're looking nice and dewy. there is definitely some dewiness left to my skin which normally with this foundation it's really matte so this is actually good it's like added a little bit of just some like shine back in so it's not so kind of matte looking and then I'm gonna be taking my NYX HD studio photogenic concealer in the shade sand and just kind of highlighting and concealing those under eyes keeping it nice and dewy for this look I'm gonna take my wet and wild color icon in um, reserve your cabana and just set where I put that concealer gives it a really nice like sheen to the skin all right, now I'm actually going to move on to the eyes, which a big reason I wanted to do this look in the first place is da, 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 I'm so excited um, I went and got the galaxy chic palic palic Palette. palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, they now are being sold in Ulta, which is awesome. They're kind of like where I spend most of my time now when I go into Ulta is looking at their stuff. Um, so this is what it looks like. I just think that these are the most gorgeous colors. I mean, they're all supposed to be kind of like foiled, almost kind of looking. Um, so I really just want to take these and play around with these and have a good time. So so excited i'm gonna get so much use Ooh, look at um, i'm so excited because i'm gonna get so much use out of this so um but before i get ahead of myself i want this to be a really really warm look so i'm actually just going to be taking this warm shade up here taking this warm orange shade up here in the um 25a palette by morphe and using that almost as like a transition shade. I'm actually gonna just mix the two of these together because that's a little bit dark. And use that as, instead of like, you know, a neutral, I'm just gonna go in with that first and just make the eye really warm up top. Just because I wanna be a little daring, I'm actually gonna take the shade, I love how they also put the names in the palette, this is my favorite. I'm gonna take the shade Venus from this palette and this really orange toned one and um, just go in a little bit more on that actual crease, but not blend it up at all, just back and forth windshield wiper motion. Intensify that orange color a little bit. All right, honestly, we're going for a shimmery look, so I kind of like how it added just a little bit of sparkle in there. I'm good with that. All right, so I did swatch these shadows, and although they are very pigmented, to actually get them like super opaque. I think I'm going to need to use, um, I'm just going to use some of my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray to just wet my brush a little bit. Take a nice big brush. And I think I'm going to go in with, yeah, I'm going to go in with the shade Comet, which is this like really pretty teal color. But I am going to just wet my brush first. Like 
how they look. I, I, like I said, I swatched a lot of them, especially these ones that have like the mixed in colors. They're beautiful. Like this one down here that's like a brown color and it has this like purple lilac kind of color mixed in. Like when you mix them together and swipe it, it gives it the prettiest kind of like brown with like an undertone of like blue undertone uh, undertone of blue like i just think it's uh, like a shadow that is not very often seen i feel like it's really really unique kind of colors all right so now that that is super packed onto my eyes the little 80s all right next i'm gonna take this is really dirty it's my custom made coastal scents palette i'm just gonna take this darker teal here over here and kind of just put that on the outer corner I'm gonna go back and just actually take a brush that has no product on it and just blend everything out a little bit all right and then I'm gonna take that same comet color and just use a smaller brush to smudge out the bottom lash line a little bit All right, and then I'm just going to be taking a tiny bit of Meteor, which is kind of very similar in color to Comet, but it's just a little bit more like whitish color, a little bit more blue. And I'm gonna put that in the middle. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the very corner for a highlight. All right, now I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is really old, so I'm gonna have to see like how this is gonna work, because it might not be like might not turn out the best, um, but I'm gonna actually use this as eyeliner. So, let's see. That still looks okay. It feels kind of like almost like a gel eyeliner consistency. So I'm actually going to go up into the crease and I'm also gonna connect it down at the bottom. All right, so I do like that in the crease, but I decided that I feel like it needs a little bit more kind of like color towards the end. So I'm actually just gonna go over um, this part with some black eyeliner. And to do my wing liner, I'm just using my Wet n Wild gel liner. All right, now I'm also gonna take my ColourPop liner in the shade Bee Sting, and I'm going to tight line the bottom, and then I'm also going to kind of like smudge it underneath the bottom too. All right, now I'm just gonna go in with a couple coats of my Essence Lash Princess. All right, then I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows with my Dip Brow in Soft Brown. All right, and I'm going to go throw some corner lashes out on the corner like I was talking about in my last video, just some like cut off lashes that just kind of like just hit that outer corner. So I'm gonna go pop those on really quickly and then I will be back. Okay, so now that I have those lashes popped on, I'm just gonna go in and do um, a slight outer corner kind of um, mascara on the outer edges, kind of focusing. All right, and that's pretty much the eyes. So now that we're done with that, I am not going to contour today. However, I am going to be taking the um, bronzer shade from my Coco Contour Kit and just warming up the face a little bit. All right, so for blush, we're gonna bring out an oldie but a goodie. It's the Milani Luminoso. This is a really pretty, almost kind of like peachy, like orangey undertone kind of shape blush. Not shaped, <laughs> colored. And I'm gonna go in a little heavy because I want it to be nice and bright. All right, now I'm gonna be going in with my Laura Mercier Highlight in 01. This is such a pretty kind of like pearlescent colored highlight that I feel like it's gonna complement the blue really well. The teal, I should say. Now we got our, got our highlight on. And I think I actually wanna take um, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlight and actually just like pop like right there. See how like wet this looks, this specific highlight. There we go. There we go. And now I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Get all of that melting together. All right, now for the last step, 
We go on bold and beautiful today. So I'm gonna be going in with the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade, this literally just says 14 on the end. I don't remember what the actual name of it, it just says LC14. Oh well, it's this color. You wanna look real nice and mermaidy today, so we're gonna go in. We wanna look real nice and mermaidy today, so we're gonna go in with this. I don't have a lip liner that matches this, so we're just gonna have to do our best. I will say I don't love this lipstick, I've worn it before. And it's a little patchy, but for this specific look, it'll do. My lips are also really dry. I know how that probably looks on camera. I feel like I should almost be like It's kind of what I feel like. Very Little Mermaid-esque. So yeah, that's it you guys. This is all I have. I wanted to do something that kind of matched my new hair color because it's like almost like this turquoise kind of blue-ish color, like green color throughout. So I wanted to do something kind of inspirational from this. Maybe look a little like mermaidy in the process because, because my hair now does match. So yeah, anyway, this is the final look. Very bright. I would never in a million years like wear this out to like work or like an event that's like serious in any way, shape or form, but I do like how it turned out a lot. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you do like watching these videos. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.